So what we have here is the Vortex coil that right there and we have uh, a little setup here where we we're going to show you quite a bit more power coming out than going in and first we have the amp is the beginning of the system plugged into the wall over there and we have audio input coming from my phone right there that goes into the front of the amp right there and then we have the speaker out this is a 200 watt bass amp, a guitar amp you know and the output right there comes out here it splits split that off there so you can get both channels and that goes into channel A and channel B right there and then I've also got the voltmeter connected there the red and the white lead the red and the black going to the input volts and of course you've got the input amp the amp clamp right there input amps and then on the output the output is this cord right here it comes out of the vortex coil and that uh, is split again there right there it's the output that black wire is measuring the output <coughs> excuse me output amps and then we've got this going over here to this cap and again I've got the voltmeter measuring the output volts and this goes to a load which is this halogen light and I don't exactly have it connected up perfectly I just needed some kind of load and it's all I can find at the moment um, much better loads are LED lights or incandescent lights but that's the easiest thing I could hook up with these two leads so let's go ahead and take a look here and watch the input and output as I turn on this so now we've got input You can hear the hissing sound. It's that's that's the coil producing ozone right now. You can see over a thousand volts going out of it, with 34 volts going in. See the amps are the same. Won't do that for too long. It'll burn up the coil. <laughs> 